Welcome to the first tutorial of Elliot, AI Framework for Unity. In this tutorial, you will learn how to create a new agent, specify its path, and create a simple behavior for it. Let's create a car that rides in circles using Elliot. Since Elliot agents move with the help of Unity's NavMesh agent component, we need to make sure that we have a NavMesh in the scene for our agents to be able to find paths and do all kinds of things. To build the nav mesh, you need to go to the Bake tab in the navigation window and click Bake button. This will build a surface, nav mesh, on top of our cube. This surface is a walkable area for our agents. Now we are going to specify the path that our car is going to follow. To do that, create a new waypoints group. The easiest way to do it is to choose Elliot Create New Waypoints Group Menu Item. This will create a new object that has a waypoints group component on it. Let's call it car path for convenience. Now, to place it right on top of the cube, firstly drag car path anywhere above the cube. And now, to place it perfectly on top of the cube's surface, just click Project on Plane button in Waypoints Group Inspector. The next thing we want to do is to create waypoints. Since our intent is to make a car that rides in circles, we need to place our waypoints on circle's edge. The easiest way to do this is to input desired values in set waypoints number and set on radius fields. To create a smooth path, it would be a good idea to create a large number of waypoints, like 100, and a reasonable radius for a given surface would be 45. In order to be able to better see the car, which we will create shortly, let's reduce alpha of waypoints color and line color, which can be found under customization header of waypoints groups inspector. Now it is time to create the agent, which is going to represent a car. The most convenient way to create new agents is to use Unit Factory. Let's call this agent car. Team is irrelevant at this point, and we will leave weight at the value of 1. Perception, motion, and resources are not going to be used for this particular agent, so we can just skip them for now. However, it is convenient to specify graphics here. I need to find my car prefab in the project window and drag and drop it onto the graphics field in Unit Factory. We are ready to push Create button and close the Unit Factory window. If everything was done right, we should be able to see our new agent. I'm going to select Sports Car, Clone, Game Object, which is a Child of Agents graphics container. Now I need to scale it down a little bit so that it fits the scale of our agent. I will put the agent somewhere on the cube surface so that it is more comfortable to finalize tweaking its parameters. As you can see, although the agent is right on top of the surface, the car model is not. So let's fix it. I will drag it down in the scene to put it right on the floor. Now in order to let the car know which path it should take while driving, I will drag and drop car path waypoints group that we created earlier into waypoints field of our newly created agent. All right. We are now ready to do a final step, create car's behavior. Firstly, we need to create a file that is going to keep the behavior. Create a new Elliot behavior anywhere in your project. Let's name this one a car. Now open the behavior editor window. Drag and drop the car behavior file anywhere inside the behavior window. As you have probably noticed, there already is one element in our behavior model, which is entry. This element is the entry point of our algorithm, which means that all other elements to which entry is directly connected will be activated first. Now we need to make sure that the car rides in circles. Fortunately, there is already a method in Elliot's library that makes agents pass each waypoint in the group in order. This method is called walk around waypoints, and it can be found in motion action interface. You can find more details about it in the manual. To invoke this method, we need to use Invoker. To create one, choose Add Node Invoker menu item or just click I while cursor is anywhere inside the window. If you have done it right, you should be able to see a new element in the window. By looking at the inspector while the new node is selected, we can see that it is set up to perform idle function for motion group of agents actions by default. We need to change it to the walk around waypoints function to make agent do what we have intended. After we have done this successfully, 
The only thing that's left is to connect it to Entry. To do this, choose Transition Menu Item from Entry's Context Menu, or click Y while the mouse cursor is over the entry. Now we should make sure our work is saved, either by using Ctrl S shortcut, or by choosing Save from Window Context Menu. Now it is time to assign our algorithm to the agent. To do this, drag and drop the newly created behavior file to the agent's behavior field. Congratulations! You have successfully created and set up your first Elliot agent. In the next tutorial, we are going to discuss more complex behaviors, the way of utilizing Elliot's skills, and we will make agents cooperate and fight against each other. Thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial of Elliot.